Hi, welcome back. So now we're going to discuss how to create charts and add them to reports within Salesforce.com. Sometimes report data can be quite daunting and overwhelming. There would always be a need to create visual representations of this data. Using charts, we can create such visual guides providing visibility over trends and correlations within the available data in a report. These charts also are added as a part of a report and can be added on as a part of a dashboard. Charts in Salesforce.com can either be any of the following formats. Formats like bar, column, line, pie, donut, scatter, or even funnel charts. So in our example, we'll be using our closed sale report that we created earlier in the first video of the section. So this is a report that includes sales values for opportunities grouped by country. We will be adding a chart to our report to emphasize the different sales results per region. Also, we would want to emphasize the difference of actuals versus budgets in the chart. So to start off, let's just go to the report tab. So on Salesforce, let's just click on reports on the tab bar. Next on the reports tab, select the report that we want to add the chart to. So let's select one opportunities, which is the report that we created earlier. Click on that one. So just click on customized. So on the report builder, just select add chart to add a new chart into our report. So on the chart selection area, there are a couple of different formats for the charts that we can add to the report. There are standard bar and column charts, which are the most appropriate for displaying amounts and amounts per grouping, groupings like departments, countries, and regions. Next, there are line charts, which is good for tracking constantly fluctuating values, like share prices or certain indexes and KPIs. And then we have pie charts, and donut charts, which are awesome in tracking percentages like, for example, market share or user adoption comparisons. Lastly, there are funnel charts, which are great for tracking the sales pipeline and tracking how much of the opportunities or leads are being converted to actual sales. So for our example, since we're tracking the sales per country, the column charts seem more appropriate. So let's click on the column chart image and proceed with entering the appropriate chart settings. So first off the bat, let's select amount as our y-axis. So just as a refresher, amount is the summary field that we created earlier. On the x-axis, let's select building country. Then next, since we are trying to compare actual performance versus expected, we might want to add another column next to amount. So on the combination chart section, let's select plot additional values. And on the display, just retain column. And for the value, let's select expected revenue which is another summary field that summarizes all of the expected revenues for all of the opportunities per grouping. So let's select expected revenue. On the formatting, let's just click on the top bar to start formatting our chart. So first off, let's enter our chart title, which will be closed opportunities by region, and select 18 point in black as the text. Next, select our background color for the chart. So we'll select gradient diagonal and select colors one and two so let's just select for first color a light yellow one going to a slightly darker yellow on the range for our y-axis we'll enter one million eight hundred thousand so let's select manual first and select zero so one million eight hundred thousand so let's just say that one million eight hundred thousand is good enough so for the legend position, we'll select bottom. Next, we'll check show axis label and show y axis values. And then we'll specify our chart position. So let's select above report. Finally, select the chart size, which we will set to large. So next, let's click on OK to add a report. And then click on save and click on run report to preview our changes. As you can see in the report, we have just created and added a chart to our report. So as you can see, charts provide a visual way to understand reports and provide admins a great tool for making report data easier to understand. So with this video, we just discussed the different chart types, how to select the appropriate settings for your chart, and how to format your chart. With this video, we just finished our discussion of the report builder and have tackled all major aspects of report building from creating different type of reports up to adding charts to reports. So aside from adding charts, we can use report data to create charts that can be added to dashboards. 
So in the next video, we'll be building on what we've learned from this video by discussing dashboards and how to create and manage them.